You know, financial planning company uh, Elevest wants to get women everywhere invested, uh, interested in investing. Elevest aims to increase uh, a woman's financial literacy through its digital investing platform. Joining us now to discuss this is Elevest co-founder and CEO Sally Krawcheck and BG <laughs> Ventures partner uh, Nisha Dua. Good to have you here. Hi, Adam. Uh, Hi. Sally, you are fired up. <laughs> I'm, I'm jumping out of my chair. I'm jumping out of my chair. <laughs> there, there, there's a lot to discuss here, right? Yes. Is there a comment you want to make before yes, we get there? Yes, I do. Go for it. Go well, for that it. Report I, that you're, you're I hear. Well, I couldn't hear her, but I'm I'm watching this come across, and as these gender economic gaps are closing in 202 years. What? That's like <laughs> Alexander Hamilton, right? right. right? <laughs> Saying that by today uh -huh. we would reach some kind of equality. Like I will be dead. You, you're so dead. My daughter's dead. My granddaughter's dead. My great grand. Come on, we're not making. That's not progress, right? right? That's not closing. That that's that's stagnation. Mm -hmm. Oh, at. Best, best, given how is, fast glaciers are moving right. today with global warming. The best thing is their report says that the previous report said it was 218 years. So oh, so it's made better than yeah. yeah. 16 years. 16 what years have really helped this? us. Mm -hmm. Come on, this Wait. is outrageous, can, particularly with all the research that says what positive mm -hmm. things happen. So, so yes. I, I want to talk to you about Elvis, but let me ask you a question from because yeah. I've watched this for a couple of decades as a right. reporter. There is outrage among women about these issues, and there's push, push, push to make this happen much faster and it hasn't why not of course oh blame it on the women good no idea. i'm not blaming it on the women well, I'm, I'm, no seriously is. right because the existing um constructs the existing institutions see the research we can have higher returns lower risk greater innovation but you know what? We're socialized to believe that men are CEOs, men are business leaders. When the majority are men, look, I, I like working with women. I like working with people who are like me. And you're doing that, and you're comfortable, and you're making a great living. You know, maybe you get a better ROE, mm. but this is pretty terrific right here. And so, you know, my old industry, Wall Street, in the decade after the financial crisis, diversity went backwards, which none of us would have expected. And so how do we fix it? Well, how do we I fix found it, Elvis. How do we fix it? <laughs> right, so I found it out. Here's why. Yeah. Because I can't fix this gender pay gap. This is a huge societal issue that people have been working on and talking about for, as to your point, decades and is not moving. 202 years is not moving. What women can do, because money is power in a capitalist society, is close their gender investing gap, something we didn't even know existed. But women invest less than men do. We keep 70 plus cents of our money in cash. It costs the women who are listening and watching hundreds of thousands or a million plus over the course of their lives. We've been told as women for forever, it's our fault. We're too risk averse. We need more financial education. At Elevest, we said, you know what? Maybe it's not our fault. Maybe no one has built a product for us. Right? Mm -hmm. Maybe the existing product of winning and outperforming and beating the market is something that appeals to guys more, built by guys for guys. What if we build an investing business built by women with thousands of hours on what women are looking for in re through research, and we have been out of the chute faster than most of the other digital first investment um, fintech companies. So Sally, we, um, you know at BBG, that's the thesis we oh. share. And in fact, we often say, Elevest is the company we missed out on vesting in. I know that. Yeah, that was our <laughs> big hit. But I'm curious to hear, right, like women should be building products for women. Adam asked the question, why haven't we made any progress? It's because men have been making the decisions. So really excited to hear, what are you seeing from the platform? What are the insights that you're giving women about investing that are different from a man's framework for investing? And what are you, what are you seeing from the women who are using your platform oh that excites gosh. you? I will tell you what we're hearing. Thank you. And particularly from younger women, women of color, who say, this, when I looked at Wall Street, I didn't see myself looking back at me. At best, I saw my dad, right? But for many women, I saw a guy who sometimes I see on TV. So I see a group that is 40% people of color, our engineering team's 50% women, two-thirds women overall. I see a team that's like me. I see a product that feels intuitive to me because what we've discovered is women aren't about even making more money. It's about, I want to buy a house in four years. I want to have a baby in three years. I want to start my own business. I don't know 10 years from now. Can I afford to do it? I don't need to, you have a, Alavest, a very powerful investing algorithm that takes into account that I live longer than men, my salary peaks sooner. You don't have to show it all to me. 
I want it under the hood, but make it intuitive and simple for me. Be a fiduciary so that I know, you know, I can trust you. And so it's just, forget about the investing as a means to itself. That's only a means to an end. I just want to talk about the end and have you do the means for me. And help me make my goals. That's right. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Uh, we're out of time, which oh. is a shame because we need to get you back. And maybe <laughs> have you come for the whole hour. Um, Sally Karchak, LFS co-founder and CEO. Thank you for being here with us thank today. Thank you.